Hello from Altia. Today's short video is going to about, be about the external 3D scene node feature, which is becoming available with Altia Design 12.3 release, and the idea is have a collaborative 3D development. So multiple developers working in parallel on different parts of a 3D scene, and the idea behind this uh, new feature is how you can export a part of a 3D scene and then pull it into your final design and it swap it out uh, as production times or in a particular instance. So let's jump right into the tool and how we're going to export a 3D piece and then swap out for new content. So here we have uh, an Altia design showing uh, two gauges, a speedometer and a tachometer, and in the center we'd like to place the, uh, the vehicle. So first of all, if I just show importing the, the new feature. So if I go into the scene node up here and I'm going to add to the scene a 3D scene node, then I've already placed out here in an external scene uh, the vehicle. This vehicle, that A3D, so that A3D extension is the new thing we've created. You see what we've done, we've imported here the, the vehicle. And this is not um, a full model, but an external scene node. So you'll notice when I, I cannot select on the vehicle and go in and go into the mesh or the details or expand expand out what's in this scene. It's a it's a fixed instance. So this is very good and of course you can see how, how this tracks with uh, the animation set up in the scene. So is that first step done? Now we've imported this into the node. Now say we want to change to a, a different vehicle. So very easy for us to take and uh, replace that instance with something else. So I've got another vehicle here, and this is a, a truck. So if I take this this truck and I'm going to export this as a 3D scene node, and you'll see here we're going to do it as a, a zip file so it includes the model and the, the texture files with it. So we'll place that out here in a directory that's convenient underneath that external scene. We'll do the vehicle.zip file so everything is placed in one location. And then I'll go over here to the zip file and we'll export this back out. And I'll just dump that over the top of that same directory. Let me pull this over the other window. Sorry about that. You see, I'm going to dump that right on top of that same directory we already have existing. And it's going to say uh, to confirm you want to replace this A3D file. So now that I've done that, you'll see in here that the, the the A3D file has been replaced with the newer one compared to the texture optimized. This is the textures that came with the car, and this is the textures that came with the truck. So now if I go back into our our design file with the car here, and I click on this, right-click on it, and show that we want to reload the external 3D scene. And you'll see how the truck has now replaced that car. So again, this is... A uh, node, I cannot touch or modify the assets in here, but it is imported this way. So the idea is I could store this in a central location, so I can modify that. And when I reload my my design file, the assets are, are fully updated. So what we kind of ran through here is the collaborative 3D development using external 3D scene nodes. You can link those assets and the content optimized for fast access. Uh, integrates the 3D content, including all materials, textures, and geometry. And with this approach, you can easily share 3D content between users, uh, stay focused, and work effectively together. So thank you for your time listening through this short video.